supporters, but uh, Mosley for me has got it all, and we haven't seen the best of him yet. The best, I think, uh, for Roy Jones came when he fought and uh, completely destroyed James Tony. And of course, since then he's had a, a succession of uh, decent defences, no doubt. But Mosley is the man for my money. Don't forget, he became the undisputed worldweight champion when he beat Oscar De La Hoya, and he won going away against De La Hoya. Former IBF lightweight champion made uh, eight defences of that title, and this is his third defence of his WBC crown. Beat some good lads as well. Beat Philip Holiday to become the IBF lightweight champion back in '97. Juan Molina was one decent defence. James Leha was another, and Golden Johnson, another. Also a couple of non-title fights that uh, stand out. He beat Wilfredo Rivera on the 10th round knockout, and Willie Wise he beat in three. And last time, of course, on British Euro Sports, we saw his previous defence against Shannon Taylor, the Australian. And here he is taking on Bristol's Adrian Stone, who began his professional career in New York having competed at a high level in the amateur ranks in Britain. And there's a real buzz every time Mosley steps through the ropes. A supreme fighter. Ladies and gentlemen, from the site where legends are made, Caesars Palace, Las Vegas, Nevada. Cedric Kushner Promotions, in association with your undisputed king of beer, Budweiser, is proud to present 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Welterweight Championship of the World. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the three judges assigned to ringside, scoring this bout on the 10-point bus system will be Carol Castellano, Mark Green, and Jerry Roth, and when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Jay Nady. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Caesar's Palace, only a few days away from the 35th anniversary here in Las Vegas, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world on HBO World Championship Boxing, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the tiger stripes and weighing in at 147 pounds. An excellent professional record. 30 victories, including 23 knockouts with three losses and two bouts even. Tonight, as the challenger, he is ready to shock the world. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the pride of Bristol, England, presenting Adrian, the Predator. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue, trimmed with gold and silver, and weighing in at 147 pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. 37 bouts, 37 victories, including 34 knockouts, and he is recognized by consensus among the absolute best fighters in the world today. From Pomona, California, the two-time world champion and reigning and defending undefeated WBC welterweight champion of the world, Sugar Shane. So there he is then, the man of the moment. To my mind, a great cross between Sugar Ray Robinson and Henry Armstrong. But Adrian Stone, decent lad, beat a couple of decent fighters, former British champions, Jeff McCreese and Derek Roach. And last time out, had a very, very good fight with Joe Townsley from Scotland, won that one on points over 12 rounds. But it really does put Stone into perspective here against Mosley's perfect 37 fight record. Um, and it's a very, very hard job against a real class act. And uh, interestingly, Adrian Stone's, one of his finest wins came in his professional debut when he beat Sean Daughter in points over four rounds. And here he is up against it, against Shane Mosley. So, 
Here we go then, Jay Nelly, our referee, and one of the judges, by the way, London taxi driver Mark Green. What a moment for him. And Mosley really has grown into this welterweight division. Former lightweight champion, of course, and jumped up two weights to capture the undisputed title at welterweight. And here he is defending the WBC portion because, of course, the other ones have all been fragmented yet again. Vernon Forrest, ringside, of course, the IBF champion. And, uh, well, look at this. Mosley's so cool. His timing is wonderful. He has a wonderful eye. He knows what's there. He knows what's coming. And he knows how to stay in control. Relaxed, confident. And let me tell you, Stone, by European standards, is a pretty decent fighter. Little right there from Stone clipping Mosley. Well, Mosley there just showing that uh, if Stone leaves himself open, he's going to get tagged. Jab from Adrian. And uh, not only has uh, Mosley got such supreme skill, he's uh, the possessor of a pretty potent punch as well. And he knows how to land it. Wonderful timing. But of course, I'm as fickle as the rest of you. In fact, probably more so. Um, saying great things about great fighters at one minute and then all of a sudden they fall apart against an unknown and you wonder where it all went wrong. I don't think Moses is the sort, um, to be honest with you, but uh, they could just never resist that one last fight when they really should be hanging up their gloves. I just hope Moses doesn't go that way. deft little movement of the head there from Mosley, just keeping himself out of trouble. Can stand his ground and uh, bangs in a three-punch combination. Not a bad round there for Stone, he's not won it, but uh, not a bad start there at all for Adrian Stone. Okay, Shane, continue to relax. Doing a great job with this, just give me a little more jab. Off the line. Okay, he's, he's looking to counter, okay? Go for some good body shots, put some ice on my neck. Oh, yeah, a little, little nice, like, yeah. Some good body shots. You start going to your right. When you're inside, punch, baby. Right. Yeah, baby don't, don't. This is just another fight, Adrian. Okay, baby? All right. Come on, let's do it, man. Double pump the jail. Yeah. All right. Hey, okay, double, double. Well, Joe Rivera, they're just telling Stone he's just another fighter, but of course he's not. And Adrian Stone knows it. Right. Hey, what a job that uh, Stone has got in his hands here. Shane Mosley, a great, great fighter. And uh, would have been, probably, in any era, just like Roy Jones would have been. So this is round two of a scheduled 12. Shane Mosley in those uh, blue and silver trunks. Bit of gold as well. And, of course, uh, Stone known as the Predator. Out here trying to... Uh, Savage Mosley. Such fast hands as well, Shane Mosley. Look at that left hook. Follows a very quick right hand a bit uh, bit of a moment ago. Well, Stone there getting uh, involved in a bit of a punch up with Mosley. And that's not too easy to do, you know. Unless Mosley really wants you to get involved in the punch up, he simply won't. So Stone's done well, in fact, to engage him. And obviously responding to Joe Rivera in the corner there, Mosley, with a timeout here from Jay Nady. 
Doesn't hit on the break. You've got to stop punching when I say break. You understand? Time. Stop. And maybe one of the worst things he could have done was wind Mosley up. And as I say, Stone responding to the corner man there who said, hey, he's just an ordinary fighter. Of course he's not, but uh, he wants Stone to get out there and don't be intimidated. And one thing that's always struck me about Adrian, he's never been the quickest of punches. Seems to labour at times. Well, Mosley there threw a the wicked left hook to the body. It didn't land flush. And Stone's beginning to pile on the pressure here. And uh, Mosley not really suited by this. Oh, and look at the speed of Mosley's feet and hands. Oh. Well, a very awkward punch there. Big scything right hook from Mosley on the inside. And he really does fancy getting rid of Stone now. And who can blame him? Stone's looking pretty dangerous. Cross from Mosley. And of course, the danger is for, for men of Mosley's class is they, they tend to run out of competition at some point. Oh, good left hook there, catching Adrian Stone. Caught him flush in the face there. No great body behind it, though. And there's the bell to end uh, round two. And not a bad round once again for Adrian Stone. Mosley's probably won it, though. Keep going, Adrian. Don't Keep wait for this guy. All right, all right. Don't wait for him. Don't wait for him, right? When you're inside, Adrian, rough him up. Yes. Okay? Rough him up. Give me that. Go. Word. You're following him. Cut him off. Don't follow on, him. Baby. Give him the angle. Keep right. Gavin there telling the... Uh, you're nice. Telling Stone not to uh, follow him, but to cut him off. But, of course, when the major problem is that it's not actually Mosley going back, is it? He's trying to rough you. You know what I mean? You know, but just like I say, the old man like cool as a cucumber, isn't he? Again. Just continue with it, all right? But don't go across to the wind. You know what I'm saying? Okay, all right. out, guys. So round three then of the scheduled dozen, and uh, let's see if Adrian Stone can get the kind of start he had over the first couple. Keep himself in this one. Mosley's so good to watch. He's an absolute stylist, as well as being incredibly effective. He's pretty, too. support, of course, at the Pavilion in Caesars Palace for Adrian Stone, including Chris Sanigar, who manages the Bristol boys down there. And Mosley now trying to measure those punches. By his standards, he's been a bit on the wild side here in this fight, but uh, looking now to have a much more measured approach. And once again, the incredible speed that Mosley has. A little bit of a smile there on Adrian Stone's face. Obviously an in-joke. Oh, goodness, what a shot that was. Beautiful right hand from Mosley. 
And oh, he's looking for the finish now. And he's Adrian Stone is in big trouble here. Oh goodness me, what a finish! What a finish there from Mosley. Absolute inch perfect finishing from Shane Mosley. And it's all over for Adrian Stone's dream. What a shame for him. The IBO light middleweight champion absolutely not cold by the WBC worldweight champion in three rounds. What a finish that was. Oh, what a class act Mosley is. Well, quite rightly, allowing Stone to try and recover on the floor there. Oh, what a class act this fella is, isn't he? Well, he's actually saying to Adrian Stone while he's laying down, good fight, man. And he's a nice guy too, isn't he? Wow, what a class act in every way. And I just hope one day I don't read something bad against Shane Mosley because I'd be awfully disappointed. I, you know, no one's perfect, of course, but uh, he seems such a great ambassador for the sport and such a wonderful exponent of the noble art of self-defence. Fantastic fighter. As I say, he, I prefer him to Roy Jones, not because Jones isn't a great fighter, because he clearly is, but there's so, you get so much more with Mosley, don't you? Watch this again. The first right hand was an absolute belter. It knocked the senses out of stone. Bang, that was it. And poor old Adrian didn't know where he was. And watch the follow-ups here. Inch perfect. He doesn't waste much. Prods away with the jab. Missed a big wild left hook to the body, but the big booming right to the head. And it was an uppercut, I think, to finish it. Oh, goodness me. It wasn't, but it could have been. What I it's it's painful to watch. I know what Stone is going through here. Oh, absolutely destroyed. Wow. Bad luck, Adrian. Good effort. As good as anyone out there could give. And don't forget Vernon Forrest took eleven rounds to beat Adrian Stone. Waves off the count of ten. Pulls a halt to the bout immediately with the knockdown. The winner at two minutes and one second of round number three by knockout victory. Still, the reigning and defending undefeated WBC Wilberweight champion of the world, Sugar Shane Mosley. Perfect 38 fights, 38 wins, 35 knockouts now. What a man. Who's going to beat this guy? All right, let's take a look at the end of the fight and you describe uh, how it unfolded, please. Yeah, that's the right hand, that's what started it. And then, uh, you know, he was wobbled, but he was he still was able to fight. He was trying to fight, so he was trying to hold me right there. I said, no, I don't want you to hold me. I want to get these shots in. <laughs> and uh, he still was like, he's still hard to hit because he's so low. He's kind of like a John Brown. Yeah. And I finally caught him another right hand, and then another one, and then the uppercut, and then that's what caught him. Yeah. That's what did the last uppercut bring him up. The left straighten him up for the right. The left straighten him up for the straight overhand right. That's what he looked like. Well, I mean, he's the IBO junior middleweight champion. Oh, and boy, that's, down, that's really important. Yeah. He carries more <laughs> weight than I do uh, no, normally. So uh, I figured that, you know, he was a tough opponent. And being that he went 11 rounds in front of Forrest and uh, gave him some problems, I believe that, you know, he was a pretty tough uh, opponent. But, you know, I know we, we've, uh, we've talked about you know, up and coming fights, maybe me moving to 154 and uh, taking on Oscar De La Hoya. And well, uh, the rematch. Fantastic performance, and do hope you've enjoyed the boxing. Take care. See you very shortly again here on British Eurosport. My name's Steve Holdsworth. Goodbye. <laughs>